All right, so here comes a transition play. We just hit. Penn State's going to transition back against us. And what's going to happen here is Nicklin's going to dig the ball. So when Nicklin digs the ball, our libero needs to become our setter most of the time. That's what we would like our libero to set. So here's what happens. They set a ball out here. Here's a chop down the line, and you're going to see Nicklin um, dig this ball right here. And Roddy's going to come in and set. Now here's, here's for fans 101, volleyball 101. If she's behind the 10-foot line, she can set with her hands. Because she crossed the 10-foot line, she has to under a bump, what we call bump set it. So she has to set with her arms. So she's going to set this ball out to Lexi, and uh, Lexi's going to find a way to get a high line kill here. That's a, a really, really good volleyball player right there. Just how we train it and like to do it. Here, we'll watch it again at full speed. Boom. Nice play. That was a perfect set by, she, Lexi, uh, right, or by uh, Lexi Rodriguez to be able to put that ball where Lexi could hit line. Nicklin also, I mean, you talk about the box for a setter, but Nicklin also put, put it in a good spot, right? Yep. Her, her goal, the, our digging box is a big box right there in the middle, and, and her goal is to set it there or dig it there because Roddy could bump set forward or bump set backwards. Another really good volleyball play. All right, so what's going to happen here is here's another transition play by Penn State. So here's our block back to base position. These guys are in base position. So right now they're just hanging out. they got to watch what's happening here. What's going to happen? What's our block going to do? So they get, always get to their base position, and then they're going to read and react from there. So here's what's going to happen is they're going to set what we call a red or a, uh, to uh, Johnny Parker. Okay, and this is a back row attack by um, Penn State. So she, she's got a hit behind the 10 foot line. She takes off right in front of the 10 foot line, but we treat her just like a front row attacker. So we're gonna try to get her block here. And our game plan on this was to, we're gonna take her, she likes to hit cross body. So our block's gonna set up on that. And we're gonna say, Roddy, you dig anything that comes down the line. And this is exactly what happened. So Johnny Parker sees that block, she goes down the line and Roddy's gonna make a uh, really nice dig here. Here comes the transition back. Nice swing, nice dig set kill right there. Big time volleyball. How much more difficult is that? I mean, no block touch, right? Right, there's no block here. This is, this is just one-on-one, -on -one, mano -y mano their best hitter against our best digger. So that's a shot right there. And I'll give you an analogy, that's probably a 55, may, 55 mile an hour hit. But what you gotta look at is the distance from there. So she's, hit, she's hitting that about the eight foot line. Roddy is probably 21 feet deep. So you're looking at 30 feet right there. And I know one summer in camp, we had a, a physics teacher was coaching a volleyball team. And he came here and he figured out that's equivalent of about 100, 150 mile an hour fastball. So that's how fast that ball is getting on her. And then the great thing is, this is what makes great liberos. If you notice where she digs it, right there. <laughs> so Nicklin now has all of her options. She can set a quick to Kayla, a go to Maddie, or a jet to Lindsey Krause. And she decides to set the go, and we get a nice kill. Okay, let's look at this play here. Okay, another, another, so when you see in the stats that Roddy has assists, this is her job right here. Nicklin digs a lot of balls. Nicklin is as good as not the best def right back defensive player we've ever had here. Roddy's gonna serve this ball. You can see how much, how late our block is right here because this is Caitlin Horde right here. So we're doing everything we can to stop her. They set out to Rollins, so our block is gonna be late. Roddy's gotta get ready to dig this ball with no block, basically. But Rollins hits it cross court, and Nicklin digs it. And here comes the set. So she's got to put a ball right. We say we have a box right here. Her job is to put the ball in the box, and if Maddie can come in, you know, I'll freeze this on this. So here comes this. She put it in the box. 
and she puts that perfectly. So you can see Maddie right here is contacting the ball. She can hit it this way, this way, this way, that way. She can hit anywhere she wants right now. Now that's an inside set. If it's off, if it's wide, then Maddie doesn't have all that range. So right now Maddie can see the block and, uh, and take a good swing because she's in a great position. And she just tools it right off the block. Okay, so it's going to be a long rally. This, this was a great rally. They, unfortunately, Penn State got called for a double hit. So let's look at the digs in this. We'll just go through it. So here's the serve. You're going to go set. Okay, off the block. So that ball went off Lauren. And you can see Keone Lay is in a great position right there. And another reason she's so good, look at, look at how low to the ground these guys are, how balanced they are, how strong they are. That, that's what makes great defensive players. So she gets it up. Here comes a set. We're going to set a back row attack here to Kenzie Knuckles. Her job is to put it somewhere and make it tough on Penn State, which she gets it to their setter. So now they, their libero is going to have to set. We'd rather have the libero setting than the setter setting because they can't set Caitlin Horde when she's bump setting. So here's a bump set out to her. And here's our wingman principle again. So. This block moves in, so she's got to cover and get outside. We call it wingman. They go in, you got to rotate over, she's got to rotate over. Because typically this is what happens. Hit players come inside here and then you tip outside the block. We've seen it a lot. And this is exactly what happens. They, they tip it over outside our block. Keone Lay makes what we call an overhand dig. So let's go back, we'll just look at that again. So here's the first ball, the transition attack. Here comes a setter bump, inside wingman. She takes it with her hands. That's great defense right there. We train that every day. We train overhead digging. And now we transition back, bang. Here come, and then they get it called a double hit here. So nice job by the Huskers to keep attacking, keep putting it in the box, and we find a way to win the rally. What's it like when you win a long rally like that? It's, it's huge. Sometimes they say those long rallies are worth two points. So I don't, you don't, have I don't say that, but a lot of people do. <laughs> I say a net serve is worth two points. So this is just a more of a standard play right here. Great serve by Keone Lay. Here comes a out of system set right here. So you can see our block, and one of the challenges of blocking with Nicklin, you can see how much smaller she is than um, how much smaller she is than Lauren. Um, so sometimes we get rattled in there because of the difference, size difference. But you can see Kenzie Knuckles right here is lined up seeing Loberg, seeing where the hole is or the ball could come through ready to dig. This is excellent defensive posture. Look, at they all look the same. That's another thing we look for. We freeze it when the ball is being hit. Do they all look the same? That, that is exceptional right there, and it's hard to get everybody synchronized and, and looking the same on every play. But you can see, look at, look at all four of them look identical. Wow. Like it'll be carbon copies of each other. So that's good training. That's good discipline by them. And here, uh, Kenzie gets a shot at her right in the seam of that block. But again, we dig it to the box. You ask about the box. Anytime we get in the box, we got a chance to, to do something. Now, I want to go back here real quick. Nice block move. And uh, this is a, a high ball to Maddie, and Maddie just goes on a little off-speed shot off the top of the block. Really nice play. Okay. How are when we you, uh, how when are you we dig to this? the box, how, how much higher do you think the percentage of getting a kill goes up? Oh. B. Mag, what do you think? Compared to in the box and out of the box? Exponentially yeah. higher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd say, I you know, probably like, you have two fifty percent, twice as good a chance to kill, you know, yeah. get it, win the rally, as opposed to not being in there. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, so we're going to see a transition attack to the back row. So here comes. There's our block, and this is an off-speed shot by Loberg from Wisconsin. And you can see Keone Lay and Maddie are over here, because this is where she likes to hit a lot of balls. 
and um, she rolls shot, so a, con a, con a Cagnoni lay is going to come and get this ball up, and then we're going to set a back row attack. So Nicklin could set Kayla here, could set Maddie, or she's got Allie coming out here. And she decides to set what we call a Bic to Maddie, and Maddie's going to find the hole in the block right there. You can see there's this is big block right there, but left front didn't get any help, so she sees the hole, chops it in there, gets a nice kill. We can run that thing again. So here's cover ball, off speed, ball handle, get up, get a good swing, bang. That's a team point right there. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is all really good volleyball. So here's a ball that gets deflected off the block. So you can see Lexi now is gonna run this ball down. And so again, she runs it down. It's called a run through right there. She puts it right on the, in the box for Nicklin. And here comes Maddie uh, on another back row attack. So again, let's, let's go back here and see what options Nicklin had. So this is deflected. Roddy's got to run it down, ball the handles. So she's got potentially Lauren right here, Allie going inside out, Maddie on the back row. So she has three options. So Roddy put that ball so all of our hitters had a chance to transition and be ready to take a swing and Maddie they get a dig and here's the next thing that happens so this ball comes over here and we want Roddy to take the free balls that are over so here we go so we want her to take that ball we want everybody else to get out ready to go you can see Allie is still a little late getting out here she should get out of there and let Roddy take it. Roddy puts it right on Nicklin's head, and here, here's Lauren on a dog one-on-one -on -one and gets the point. 